What is up guys? We got a ton of content coming up for you this video and I extensively apologize on the lack of footage out live in the wild. Uh, we only have finds from one rack store. Uh, the last like whole month of my life has just been super hectic. Uh, I ran on about it later in the video a little bit and uh, just overall haven't been having the greatest time thrifting. So I've been taking it to get caught up on inventory YouTube videos, etc. I say it later in the video, but uh, just to let you guys know, YouTube will be all caught up after this is done, said, and uploaded. So uh, you guys will be currently caught up with where we are at in life, and uh, we thank you guys for the continued love and support, and we will see you in the first. See you guys there. Peace. The universe is doing me like that again today, guys. You have the size Youth 60, WWE Smackdown with Oh, you got all the childhood favorites on there. Booker T, Undertaker, Batista, this crazy dude that I forget who his name was that Loki scared me whenever I was a little kid. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio. You have the Star Wars Episode One on the 99 Star Wars Episode One tag, C-3PO and R2-D2. Why wouldn't it be a size youth 6T? You have the Incredibles, Big Dogs, Santa Barbara. Why wouldn't it be a size youth? You have the Batista, WWE, Lego Star Wars, Lego Batman. These are the ones that really, really, really hurt my feelings. The 99 Pokemon, the 2000 Scooby-Doo, on the Cartoon Network tag, with the date on the back. The 2008 Incredible Hulk, licensed from the movie. And then just another Star Wars piece. Uh, my feelings are hurt, so I'm gonna leave now. I'll see you guys at home or at the next thrift store. Peace. What's up, guys? I am exhausted. Uh, I've had like the longest month of my life, I swear. Um, it's uh, it's been been a doozy. Uh, there's not been a lot of content uploaded, as you guys can tell. I do apologize for that in advance. I don't have a lot of content for this video either, in terms of, like, actual live footage, but I do have a lot of shirts to show you guys, so I hope that does make up for it. Uh, the last, like, really month overall of my life has been extremely hectic. I really don't want to talk about it or go into details, honestly. It's, it's been one of those months, guys. You know, like, one of those days? It's been one of those months, so, uh... You know, we're just trucking forward. We're going to keep on pressing forward. Um, YouTube will be all caught up after this video is done, edited, and uploaded. And I have recorded this specific segment right here that I'm recording probably like 20 times now. Um, first, I didn't like any of the segments that I recorded. And then whenever I went to edit it in Premiere, I apparently accidentally was recording in 4K instead of regular standard HD. And... Uh, my videos that I upload are for right now until I get a better camera and a little bit more money and stuff. They're just in regular HD because in my opinion, that's good enough. I don't really need to go any higher than that at the current time and point in my life just because that, that's good enough for right now. You know, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, that, that's budget, budget friendly for right now. Um, but whenever I went to upload it, none of my videos would like, it, it wouldn't play it because obviously the space that I'm rendering in and the file that I'm rendering in is for standard HD 1080p, which is a completely different format and uh, resolution than 4K is. So that kept messing up on me. And uh, here we are. Take 20. Uh, frustration is through the roof. And uh, we're going to get right into this clothing, guys. So I got clothing from the homie Chaz, from the homie Canton's Closet, from the homie Zed at Shop Zed's in Pittsburgh. Um, if you haven't got the chance, definitely stop down there. And then, of course, the racks. Uh, went out last Saturday, I believe. Uh, a couple mail days and last Saturday. And then the homie Chaz found this piece starting us off down at a vintage shop in Arkansas whenever he was visiting his mom, I believe. And it's a forward denim, like all over print piece. I don't know if it's actually vintage or not, but regardless, I think he got it for like $14, which uh, on their website, their t-shirts are listed for like a couple hundred dollars a piece, these like all over print t-shirts. And uh, sold comps on like eBay and grilled and stuff are like not that much, <laughs> but you know, they're not bad either. So, uh, you know, shout out to the homie Chaz, because regardless of whether this is vintage or not, 
This is like a super, super dope all over print piece. Just the anarchy symbols and the flames and stuff all over it, guys. I mean, come on. That's, that's very, very, uh, very 20, current, current, whatever the current period in time we are is. Um, to, you have the, uh, actually both Call of Duty pieces. This one being from Canton's Closet, the Modern Warfare 2 Ghost, uh, licensed Infinity Ward t-shirt. And then this one from Shop Zed's the uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare t-shirt. So again, some Call of Duty bangers right there. Those will either be up on the website or on live auction with vintage cartoons. This is another Shop Zed's piece. Actually, these next couple pieces are all gonna be from Zed's. Uh, so again, shout out to Zed. Uh, backstory behind that, I took the uh, kids come up down to Zed because he just had a little boy. So I figured what better way to uh, to use it than to give it to somebody who just had a child who is going to wear it, you know. So sent that on to a good home. He gave me a little bit of store credit and I took him a bunch of other stuff too. So I got a bunch of stuff in credit. And then uh, after that, I have some finds from the racks to show you guys. So uh, you have the Picasso. It isn't licensed, like no licensing or year or date, but it is trademarked up here in the corner. And it is on the Canadian Fruit of the Loom tag. And then that is single stitch top to bottom the whole way through, just single sided on the front absolute banger uh you have the purple ah, if i can get it off csi t-shirt uh 2003 it is on like the red gilden tag uh size large i believe larger xl single sided and then i wasn't gonna keep this shirt this this one i've been trying to sell this online at every event i've had for a minute now and it just hasn't sold so i figured you know what throwing it in the vault it's time to vault it it's a sign time to vault it so uh this puppy went into the vault I thrifted that a while back at a salvo, like probably damn near a year ago now, far before the uh, times of 13 racks YouTube. So uh, next up, you have the Liquid Blue Grateful Dead uh, 1997 long sleeve t-shirt made in the United States of America. Uh, beautiful double stitch, just beautiful graphic overall. You have the uh, Scarlet Fire Oriental Dragon on the back with the Grateful Dead hit in the middle here. And then you have the Grateful Dead Bears and the teacups on the front with the Tree of Life in the middle. And then uh, just the uh, Grateful Dead skull uh, here in the in the sun in the background here. And again, beautiful tie-dye on it as all liquid blue. Well, most liquid blue pieces have, I should say. Because not all of them do. Uh, next up, you have a piece that I actually went to Zed's for, Call Me Corny. Uh, the Wolf T-shirt. It is double stitch. It's on a Tour Champ. Uh, it is wraparound print, double-sided, almost all over print. It goes onto the sleeves a little bit, but not really enough to... I, I guess you could call it an all-over print. It goes front and back, wraparound, whole way around. Uh, definitely 90s, uh, size 2XL, nice and boxy. Uh, the turquoise, like cyan, purple, like just like 80s, 90s colorway was just like really speaking to me, like the fade on the wolf. I don't know if you guys can see the close-up on the wolf there, but like the colors, guys, on this piece are just absolutely insane. And uh, of course, this is another one from Zed's as those, all those last pieces were. And then uh, moving on guys, you have the pieces that we found in the thrift store. I actually didn't want to show this one off first or show that one off behind it, but oh well, I just messed that all up. <laughs> you have the United States Marine Corps Camp Lejeune single stitch uh, t-shirt. It's on like that 80s ringer style collar. Um, Look, appears to be on like an 80s anvil tag or maybe a sherry's best tag i'm not 100 percent sure uh probably one of those old 80s black tags with the gold print on them regardless um but uh, it is single stitch again top to bottom has a little bit of unfurling on the back here but i think it's a really cool like vintage military piece uh super dope vintage military t-shirt and again that is from the racks we had another guest t-shirt from the racks. This is on the get old guest grid tag. It is single stitch top to bottom. Uh, it is one size fits all. And then it is the all embroidered front with the trademark up here. Guess classics style in the USA. Sorry, I had to rethink what it said for a second, but uh, a, a beautiful piece. And then lastly, guys, you have the not for sale Dale. Uh, the double-sided Dale Earnhardt Run Hard Stop Fast 1997 Sports Image uh, t-shirt on the competitor's view. It is a size large. And I actually found this in the kids section. I was very confused. I don't know if maybe one of the workers were stashing it to try and pop in and grab it after their shift. But uh, it did come home with me. And it will be going into the personal collection. Dale was my dad's favorite driver. 
And then uh, Mark Martin was my pap's favorite driver, which, uh, as I've stated before, I believe so. My pap is no longer here with us. So I have a huge sentimental attachment to NASCAR stuff because I used to watch the races with him like every single day growing up as a little kid. So, uh, Pappy, rest up. I love you, man. God bless you. Um, and thank you so much for the, uh, the, the memories of NASCAR that you've given me that I can now uh, share with you guys and just just look back on and reminisce on in pieces like this. Uh, that's going to do us for this episode, guys. As always, thank you for the continued love and support. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we'll have a special little excursion coming up this weekend. So you guys will definitely want to pop in early next week for next week's episode or for yeah. Yeah. Uh, next week's episode, we'll try to get back to two uploads a week. Uh, we've been sitting at like one upload a week for right now. So we're going to try and pop back to two uploads a week and uh, get back into the swing of things. So we're going to start that off with this little excursion, and uh, we're going to kick it back into gear here, guys. So stay tuned for that. Again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. Have a great rest of your night and a gr or day, morning, whenever you may be watching this. I apologize. Massive brain farts today. Like I said, it's truly been one of those, one of those months. But nevertheless, guys, peace.